My name is Mei Xueqin. I'm a professor at Tsinghua University, Beijing, China, where I teach world environment history. I came here to do my book research on the Dirty Fat Thames, the pollution and the restoration of the River Thames during 19th and 20th century. Dirty Fat Thames is a punchy cartoon which was uh, published in 1848 and described the, the situation of the River Thames during 19th century. It represents the pollution of the river. The cartoon also accompanied a poem that described the situation and the people's thinking and how the, the river gives the people's image of the condition. The pollution of the River Thames is the consequence of the British industrialization and urbanization. And before the Industrial Revolution, or the pre-industrial times was often described with uh, pure, cleaner, with uh, sweet water. But up to the middle of the 19th century, this river was seriously polluted with the process of the industrialization and urbanization. And this situation has been continued to the middle of the 20th century. The story of how the River Thames was brought back from the pollution to the sustainability is a remarkable story. And some people think this story has great relevance in contemporary global scarcity of the freshwater resources. And in my book project, I plan through the eyes of the species salmon to explore such questions as what really happened during that time, I mean 19th and 20th century? Why they happened? How the river Thames was back from the pollution to recovery? And to what extent China or other developing country can learn from this kind of history? Contemporary China is still on the way of industrialization and urbanization. And I think Maybe we Chinese can learn something from this kind of history.